I, sometimes I say stuff, I don't even have the clarity in it myself, but for some strange reason, when I say it, that's exactly how it is. I always discover that what I said is, these are what I'll call them magician in this scenario, that they cook up some ability to actually brain drain a person whilst you are sleeping in a dream. Because they'll be bringing all sort of vision that definitely has nothing to do with you. Brings all sorts of imagery, even thought, even whispers in your ears to mark your own person so that it can steal yours, meaning to spoil your own genuine real self, your dream, your vision, so that it can, you know, take yours. Obviously what it shows you makes you feel, it depends what the intention is, sometimes it makes you feel scared or fearful or, or just really outrightly stealing from you. So if you don't know who you are properly, and this is like forever knowledge because being alive simply means learning the greatness of God, meaning of Ogun inside of you, and it just gets better. Immediately you, you know who you are, the Ogun that you carry and you connect, it gets better, guaranteed. But it's the starting point of it that is very, uh, one can say, worrisome or scary. Maybe that's why people don't allow themselves to, to walk that path. Some of us, we really don't have choice in the matter. When you're chosen, you're chosen. You just find yourself making choices that if I, I mean, Ogun has already written concerning you. You know, so treading that path, it, it, just the beginning could be a bit challenging, but you know, you're already gilded with Ogun anyway, so that it won't harm you. Because all that this magician has done, to have it undone, you have to go through stuff. But you've been gilded by Ifaila, meaning Ogun herself, that you don't have to worry yourself. Even when you fall in Ogun, the earth will carry you. You will never fall. So don't be scared to be ready and make yourself ready to activate the Ogun in you. Especially the dream one is the most difficult part because you really don't know what is going on. It's difficult for you to know which one is you or which one is the clone, really, that is messing with your real self. But I can assure you with Ogun, meaning God, meaning energy of life, all that you think is not possible becomes possible. But you have to really love the Ogun in you enough that uh, you don't go about uh, uh, promoting uh, death as if death is something special. It's life that is special. When you when you when you connected to the moon and the sun, you realize death is nothing special. Life is that that is special. Even death needs life. Why else do you think vampires are so big on sucking people's blood it's because they need life so what what and, and, and vampire need rest because vampire is like dead people who are not able to die and they're not able to live you don't want to be anything of that nature so what you really want to be is to learn how to activate the ogun in you and that's why universe meaning phyla as body phyla forth forward from where you are because the way the world has uh, been uh, relating to Ifaila has moved forward from where it was so uh, every one of us we have to is a must is a commandment begin to relate to that highest intelligence of God from where we are, it doesn't matter where you are, from where we are. Because a time will come, that's what we're going to have, the highest intelligence of God. And I can assure us, it's bigger than 5G. Nobody can put tape on an infinity of God.
because it's non-ending, it's infinity. The only thing we need to do as people is to learn the ogun that we carry, where we are, and the level that is given to us, and begin to relate to ogun, the highest intelligence of ogun that, that we have uh, become. Because Moorish people are back with us. They are in our midst and they don't lack. Everyone who knows what and who's already feeling the essence of the energy that I'm talking about know precisely what I'm talking about. It is a new day. And our approach to life, meaning Ogun, has to be real. We cannot go on being fake, pretentious, ingenuine, and overflowing with hypocrisy anymore just because we want to be government, just because we want to be God, fake God at that. We can't be fake anymore. When we say fate, we're only referring to Ifa. When we say light, we're only referring to uh, uh, Ella. I stand by what I say, even when I didn't know what I'm talking about. That they actually didn't have a clue. It's just the ogun in me that was working and I wasn't connecting. I still stand by what I'm saying. But now I can say I have some clue of what I'm talking about. So what I'm saying is that uh, some people have the skill to 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 intercept with the person's uh, dream state. So you have to know that it is it is important for us to learn how to protect our dream and we can't do it by might ogun is more than able to guide us on how to do this so that you don't have to connect yourself to the clone meaning the fake it makes clone makes a person to act outside himself and clone is so somewhat so smart you actually think it's you but it's not you now, if you don't activate the Ogun in you, you will never know which one is you and which one is the clone. Right. Um, what uh, intercepting with a person's dream actually does to the affected person is that uh, create an um, energy imbalance in the, in the um, affected person. And obviously when your energy is not balanced. It is not uh, hindsight that uh, whatever that person is doing will not somewhat be as con as con. It won't have a. It won't have. It won't have construction. Because to, to balance means to have a construction in uh, what you bring forth from inside of yourself because all of it has to come from inside of yourself, which, which is the ogun uh, that you carry. It comes from inside of yourself, and activating your ogun simply means one thing. You, you'll be able to be constructive in, in, in how you approach everything about yourself. Now you can see the importance of ogun that we carry, that we need to activate because all, we'll never mind about other people, other culture, or foreign or whatever, messing with, 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 with Africa, world, and the people in it. It's the fact that you're not activating your ogun that is the problem, which is what they're playing on. However, they are the two, somehow they make themselves the two to actually make sure you're not able to activate your ogun. But all of that trees and games and whatnot has come to an end. That's why we're able to even know what Ogun is and we're even talking about Ogun. That's evidence of all, all the game that uh, man play with God it has to come to a wrap. Everybody, we, we know that, that it will come to a wrap and it has come to a wrap. So we can't play with God anymore and we can't, you know, I think that God is just something to play with. The Ogun in you that I'm talking about is the God that you carry that makes you a God. Before, before anyone or any culture in the world can even claim to be God of any sort in any small way possible, 
you African people, you Moorish people, have to be God that you are, the Ogun that you carry, has to be respected, you have to activate it. That's what the real problem is. Not activating your Ogun. You can't be functioning in Catch-22. There's no such thing. There's only Ishe Shelagba. That's what 22 means. So all these things that they, you know, push forward to your face for you to run away from or have concern about is actually the key that is going to make you to have a life. And how do you do that knowing the Ogun that you carry? Because Ogun will clear the way. When they bring um, a clone to you, you say, no, clone, go back to clone. I am Ogun essence. And it's activated. No one can lie to Ogun. That's the characteristic of Ogun. You know why? Because Ogun don't lie to nobody. No one can kill Ogun because Ogun don't kill nobody. You have to go and take an uh, aspect of Ogun and decide to use it to, to kill someone, which in essence really means you're killing yourself. So in Morimi's house, we don't appreciate that. We don't celebrate that. We don't, there's no death in Morimi's house. In Ifaila, there's no death. There's only life. You have to activate the Ogu in you for some of the stuff that I say to make sense to you anyway. Now, when you function in an energy that is in balance, then you being sufficient at your productivity in your duty as a person becomes a problem. A person affected by imbalanced energy, be it through media or in their dream, cannot be sufficiently become productive in their line of duty. For example, policemen, army people, um, meaning soldiers, teachers, nurses, call it every area of, of life that you know we're working on or builder or whatever in market people you cannot be sufficiently productive in your line of duty because you are functioning in an energy that is not balanced even vampire people have to create a balanced energy for them to function in their vampire world, if you know what I'm talking about. It, 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 there is where uh, deaths are celebrated. And even there, when you look at it properly, you see that they, can, they don't celebrate deaths because in life, there's no death. Why are we celebrating deaths? If vampires are celebrating death, how come they woke up, uh, is it? No, no, I think it's at night that they, <laughs> it's at night that they celebrate life. But during the day, they are resting. So you can see that vampires don't even celebrate that. Activate your Ogun uh, uh, energy that is in you. You will see clearly, you know what I'm talking about. And this can go two ways. First one is um, a person can become, uh, can end up with a mental breakdown. I've seen this happen to people, not knowing it's because they are functioning in an imbalance of energy that causes mental breakdown. For somebody to even have mental breakdown is because we come to that. But that's the first thing, that's the first um, outcome of when you are functioning in an imbalanced energy which is because you're not functioning in your Ogun self. A person will, can have mental breakdown because you're not honoring that energy that is in you. You're not using it. You're not activating it. So letting other people use it is a problem. Not using it at all is a problem, but you're not even allowed to not use it because it, it, Ogun already put it there. So other people will be using it at your disadvantage. That's why foreigners who come and take stuff from Africa, 
mold it in their own way and make it less quality and bring it back to you and put money that you never end, end up paying on it. This cannot go on in Africa because no Africa, no world. So that's why you can see the foreigners know this. That's why they, they won't stop coming to Africa. And when they come, they don't want people to have a life because they are so persistent on wanting to play fake God that they don't even know how to be. God don't destroy. If you're God that creates everything, how would you be destroying what you have created? It doesn't make sense. Let's start to do the arithmetic and the maths. And, call, and let these people know what they are so that they can go to their own space and leave us alone to build Africa. Um, some people, they're very good at that. They, they, they just repress um, brain drain effect. But it doesn't mean it's not affecting them because uh, they are definitely, majority of this sort of people are the people who are definitely functioning outside themselves. The problem here is that they don't even know that. They don't know that they are functioning outside themselves. They feel that they're, they're normal or 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 they're good people or you know we Moorish people suffer because we're not activating the ugun that we carry the good news is that this problem that Africa uh, we are uh, Africa Moorish people are suffering from can be reversed why did I say that the universe itself have reinstated the essence of, of Ogun in our life through Ifaila ministry. And uh, Ogun has made herself strong in our life, solid as the rock of ages that ages not. We have to know this. Don't just believe in it, be clear in it and about it and begin to activate your ogun. And you seriously cannot find ogun anywhere. What I'm saying is not hindsight, it's researchable. You just have to be the ogun, activate the ogun inside of you for you to be able to receive and have clarity as to what ifala and ogun is about. You cannot find ogun in anywhere in its potent fashion, its overflowing function, except in ifala. Africa is a winner. It's just that we're not taking up our responsibility. But whether we like it or not, our responsibility has taken over us. Our responsibilities has connected with us. What am I saying in essence? To conclude, Africa have come up. Africa have uh, neglected their true God. And they're chasing after fake God that has nothing to offer them. Meaning, Africa have neglected their true God. Meaning, God of iron. And the outcome of that is the Africa that we see today, where nothing is functioning where imbalance of energy is what you see everywhere you look. But, like I said, the good news is Ogun never left us. That's who we are as Moorish people. It just, it is time to activate that Ogun that we are, that is in us, all around us. I love you to all the Fila family out there. As we go in our daily uh, endeavors, uh, it is clear that Ogun will continue to clear our path. <laughs>